Hello, hello, my beautiful, beautiful friends. I am so excited that you tuned in today for a what I eat in a day. You guys love these and so I continue to do them and I love to show you what I eat on a start solution approved lifestyle that I have been doing for almost more than a year and a half. Wow, time flies by. <music> some unplanned food, things that come to mind. So come along and first things first, already have my coffee for today. I have coffee, I would say about a fourth of a cup of soy milk, love my soy milk. And I make that in the morning, I start off with that. And then I drink at least 75 ounces of water a day and then eat when I'm hungry. That's one thing that I really have adjusted to this lifestyle is I only eat when I'm hungry. So when I'm hungry, I decide to eat and it is almost about nine o'clock and so I'm getting a little hungry. So I'm gonna have my overnight oats. I have made overnight oats all the time on this channel, but I'm gonna spruce them up today with a few other things. Tea, love me some tea. So I usually make about 32 ounces of tea and I just drink it throughout the day or reheat it. So today I am making a lemon balm tea in my coffee maker. defrosting some wild blueberries in the microwave and I'm gonna put this together for breakfast. I'm going to take the bread that I made yesterday and cut it and I'm going to toast it for about three to four minutes in the Breville toaster oven that I love. So I'm going to have this as my full uh, piece of bread and then I'm going to cut it because then I'm going to use this as the top. So I'm going to go ahead and start toasting this. While I'm toasting my bread, I'm going to cut up my cucumber here. I'm 
and I'm cutting it this direction so that it lays flat on the piece of bread. I can't help myself, but eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same here with my tomatoes so that they lay flat. And if I had other tomatoes that were bigger, I would use those, but I only have these cherry tomatoes, which I'm completely okay with. So I'm waiting for the toast, and then I will assemble my sandwich. All right, so I have my bread toasted here, and I'm going to take some hummus. This has no oil in it. I know that it can be a little challenging to find it with no oil. So I'm gonna make my veggie sandwich here. Have whatever really sauce that you would want. In my case, I'm gonna use hummus, really enjoy hummus. And I'm going to take and add my veggies here. Once again, you can use any type of veggie that you would like. In my case, this is what I have on hand. So that will be my sandwich. And I'm gonna put it here on my plate with some dash of the spinach that I'll eat on the side, some cucumbers, so I will eat all of these veggies within this meal. So in here I have my 50-50 plate, so I have of course my starch with the hummus and the veggies, and I'm going to add some more veggies on this side. I am making zucchini, so I like to pre-cut a bunch of zucchini every single week. And so what I'm gonna do here is add it into my air fryer basket. I'm gonna air fry for 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees. I'm gonna check it at about 10 minutes and get these zucchinis all warmed up and get them crisp. You can see here, I have a beautiful 50-50 plate with my starch and my veg for today's meal. All right, yummy, amazing lunch. I love roasted zucchini like this. So good. All right, so breakfast, lunch was amazing. I am working on drinking my water. This is my second one today and gonna start planning what I'm gonna have for dinner. So for an afternoon snack, I made my hubby and I a yummy, yummy smoothie to enjoy just for a snack that will hold us over until dinner. And this goes back to my comment about when you're hungry, eat. When you're not, you don't have to. So really be in tune with your body and if it's hungry, feed it. So in this case, I thought I was gonna plan dinner and I'm actually having a smoothie and then I'll plan dinner. <laughs> so more to come on dinner. A little chilly here in Arizona. My trick here is that I'm going to add a banana that is not frozen. And so it helps not have everything in there be frozen. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I have all of my frozen um, fruit in these bags, these reusable bags, and I love them. And so I'm probably going to put about three bananas in here. That's what we'll start with.
So for dinner tonight, I am going to make some spring rolls. So I'm going to start off sauteing my mixture. So I'm going to start with some onions. You can cut them anyway. Um, in this case, I cut mine a little bit longer. I'm just gonna start probably with, with like a half a cup and get them sauteing. And then from there, I'm just gonna add cabbage and carrots with some seasoning. And then I may put in some peas. In a little bit of water and this is a great way to cook with no oil is you saute with the vegetable and a little bit of water but I wait to put the water in up until I can start seeing that it actually is saute Get 
kits. This is a great fun kind of exercise to <laughs> have them make their own. Just be fun, be unique with it. Almost like make your own veggie girl. As I mentioned, you can really use any kind of vegetable in here. This is just what I have on hand. You can tell I'm getting risky with this one. I'm stuffing it even further. So there you have it. My mix, as you can see, that I have literally half of the dish left. I will make some later this week, but at least I have this done, so all I would need to do is prep these. And this is about four cups that I have remaining for later in the week. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you liked it, I would love a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And also subscribe for the next video coming your way. I am so thankful to have you here and I'll see you again next time.